who designed this labyrinth, whose mind produced these dizzy passages. Daedalus the genius, who invented ships which could sail under the sea, fireworks which would knock down a wall, lenses that set together could see as far as the stars, fantastic machines. He fell so far. He fell so far from grace he finished a broken man, making the same little clay figure over and over. A child with wings. A child with wings? Who was that? The one thing Daedalus made he had no control of. The one thing he ever truly loved. Icarus, his son. Oops. Daedalus, the greatest craftsman in Greece. There was no one like him. He was born in Athens. Like us. And he learned the art of making from the goddess Athene herself. But his greatest dream was to fly, to soar through the clouds like a bird. Is that why his son had wings? Did they both grow wings? No, no, they didn't. Poor Icarus had nothing so graceful as wings. Even his hands were awkward and clumsy. Look. So, look. Wonderful. <laughs> gently. Oh, you must handle things gently. I'm no good. You think I'm no good. I don't think that at all. You do. You think I'm clumsy. I know you do. I do not. I think your brains must have run from your head. <laughs> Take them back again. That's better. <laughs> Stop me. He's clumsy, this Icarus. He was clumsy. But you know, he's only a boy. Did he get better, more careful? Perhaps he would have done, I don't know. Something happened. Something happened which changed everything. Another boy came into their lives, a golden boy kissed by the gods. A nephew to Daedalus. An apprentice. What happened? Broken. I broke it. It doesn't matter. No, look. If you lift the wing here and pull this, look, you can. It'll be all right, I think. There. <laughs> the gods play with us. Into Talos, his sister's boy, went all the joy of creation. The keen eye and the quick wit, as if the two children had been born to the wrong parent. For Talos was the kind of son Daedalus had dreamed of. Uncle, what's this? A jawbone of a snake. Why? What would happen if you cast us in metal? What? Daedalus watched the boy work. His brilliance, his curiosity, the ideas pouring from him. Daedalus watched all this, and it was like a knife twisting in his heart. Look, Uncle, look! He's clever, isn't he? He really is. And every day, Icarus seems slower, more clumsy, more dull against the bright star of his cousin. Sometimes in the evenings, Daedalus would climb up onto the roof, the boys clambering after him. And then they would look out over Athens and watch the birds. And they looked hardest at the vultures, watched them glide, circle, or just hang in the air. I think what happens is, the wind goes over both sides of the wings, and the back of the wings go up, and the air pushes the bird up. Can we go now? I'm hungry. Oh, stay a little longer. Every time we look at a bird or anything in nature, we're learning something. Yes, but I'm a bit bored. Oh, go on then. Go down and have your supper. You too, Nadia. No, I'd rather stay. I'll stay if you want. No, don't worry. I'll stay. I'll stay if you really want. Just go! Look, it's landed. When I look down from the sky, things are small. I see fields of corn like graffia mats. People shrink to the size of dolls. I detect. 
see you hate your nephew. No. Huh? Nothing. Well, of course, he's everything you hoped for in your son and didn't get. You hate him. I'd love to fly, wouldn't you? Yes. I dream about it. Do you think it would be possible for us to fly? I think you can make wings like a bird's. Yes. I'd like to try. Is that like flying? Uncle, no, please! Don't worry, I will let you fall. You... Right. Is there something my very, very clever nephew is frightened of? <laughs> Talos fell, twisting and turning like a starfish. He fell so slowly through the air, it seemed to Daedalus he was falling forever. That he was never going to land, that he was flying. Then the ground reminded him. It came to meet Talos and jolted him asleep. doing it was pain it was pain it was his heart breaking he looked down on the boy's body if he could have thrown himself off in his place if he could have wound back those few seconds of madness but he couldn't he couldn't him up and ran like a murderer from the city. Father and son traveled through Greece. Daedalus sold drawings, toys, hired himself out to petty kings and tyrants, squandered his genius on trifles, and dreaded the nights, dreaded sleep, his dreams full of falling, falling. They never settled, always moving on, always looking over their shoulder, until one day they set sail for the island.